Yeah, Terry says, where has all my free space gone? And I'm not going to jump into the song, but yeah. No, you're not going to sing for us? Where has all my free space gone? Long time missing. Where has all my free space gone? Can't store any stuff. All right. (laughs) Um, We, we, (laughs) you and James Dempsey need to collaborate here. We're probably going to get a a copyright strike for that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Facebook and YouTube are going to yell at us now. Uh, He says, I have an iMac that has been eating up free space and I cannot figure out where it's going. Oh, no. I had been working with about 20 plus gigs free space, which was pretty stable at that level until about two months ago. I use Clean My Mac to periodically clean up the junk, but once I get it back up to about 20 gigs free space, it is quickly eaten up and that free, it quickly eats up that free space until now I only have about 4.5 gigs free. I also did a Mac OS reinstall several months ago, and after that, I was back at 25 gigs of free space. Then the free space disappeared. I've looked for Time Machine backups, but didn't find any using the TM, the Time Machine utility tool, looking at the local snapshots, which that would have been one of my guesses. I've deleted unused apps, not very many, as I've got my system where I want it. I've run clean my Mac, but as of today, it only finds about 800K and my free space is 4.89 gigs. As you can see, the storage shows apps using 495 gigs. I cannot, this cannot be correct. And the system is not showing anything but calculating while Mac hard drive window shows 4.87 gigs of free space. So what can I do? Install Mac OS again, new can pave, help. Yeah. Uh this is interesting. It, and he, he he sent us a screenshot of uh the system settings storage window that shows this, you know, applications taking up 495 gigs. And my next step would be to go into, you know, the applications folder and get the size of the applications folder to confirm that it's seeing the same thing. And if you truly do have 495 gigs in your applications folder, well, let's dig in deeper to that and see where that's being used up, right? You can, uh, you could open that folder and uh, tell it, what is that? Uh, if you go into, I think it's show in finder, show view options, calculate all sizes, and then sort by size, you know, from largest to smallest, and see what you've got in that applications folder like th- that given what you've shown us here that's the first thing i would do yeah. um i'm assuming when he says he runs clean my mac he's talking about space lens inside yeah. clean my mac uh which is really it's amazing the place i would go to and i I'd, I'd be curious what i know it says that it only shows 600 or 800k to free up I I would do kind of the what I call the manual mode of Space Lens, where I just let it show me the folders on my Mac that have the most things used, and I dig in and I decide what I'm going to delete. And some of that comes with you know decades of making mistakes and deleting the wrong things and learning what I can and can't touch. But at least getting a feel for where this space is being used. Uh, the the command that he mentioned, which I'll put in the show notes so we all have it, but the the the, the terminal utility. command to list yeah to list all the snapshots is fine. I would use disk utility to see these now because it's it gives you a graphical view and you can delete from there. Uh, there might not be anything that might not be the issue, but I, like th- yeah, I, so I would I would dig deeper with both with space lens and just with Finder. And start looking at where things are being chewed up. That, that's kind of it. My, if I were there, what would I do next thing? What would you do next? Well, I feel different? like you're onto something with the, I mean, he's mentioning specifically that it's calling out applications. This and so where my brain went is there are a lot of applications and we've talked about these that store their data in a library file, Right. Yep. within the application. So usually like a MySQLite database or something like that. 
I'm wondering if what's happening is he's freeing up the free space and then there's one of these apps that in the background or when you're running it is pulling down data from the cloud and like storing it within that app. And it's like, oh, goody, I have a bunch more free space. Let me grab more cash. Let me grab more stuff. Let me grab more. You know, so I'm thinking about like podcasts that have auto downloads in the podcast app, right? I don't know that those necessarily show up. I don't know where those show up. Like that would be a culprit or movies that are automatically downloaded in the background or like, but it must be, if it's coming out of applications, my guess would be it is some app that he uses regularly. I, I, I'm thinking about like I use, I mean, this wouldn't eat up that much space, but like, for example, I use reader apps and I know a lot of those store everything in a library file and they usually have a setting that says, hey, pull everything down in the background so when I'm offline, I can still like read all this stuff, right? Yeah, right, right. Um, and it will just store that stuff inside a database in the app. Like it's within the app container. It's not out there on a, you know, in the finder somewhere where the finder is going to actually see it. It's going to see it. Oh, this app is, you know, it's like app and data stuff. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 